You want to know the truth about 2020? Let's talk about it. From COVID to censorship to the election to January 6th. They will tell you that January 6th was caused by a single man whose name is unspeakable. <laughs> His name is QAnon. <laughs> now, the truth is this. January 6th was the result of a pervasive culture of censorship across this country. And when you tell people they cannot speak, that is when they scream. You tell people they cannot scream, that is when they tear things down. And what happened in this country, that starting in 2020, we were told that there's a pandemic that we know began in a lab in Wuhan on the other side of the world. We knew it then. But you could not say it or else you were a racist. You could not say it or they would lock your social media accounts down. You were told that you had to stay locked down in your homes and you couldn't protest a lockdown. You couldn't talk about school lockdowns on social media. You had to stay locked in your basement even as BLM and Antifa traveled the streets of this country and burned them to the ground. You were told that it takes somehow 10 years to make a new medicine or a vaccine or else you can't take it unless it's safe for 10 years. And yet they develop a vaccine in less than a year and they mandate that you take it without asking any questions. And you were told that if you disagree with all of this, that if you don't like the direction of this culture of censorship and authoritarianism in the United States, that you have an election to set this right. That in our republic, you get one person, one vote to hold the people in charge accountable. And you were told that you had a chance to actually deliver it. And yet, on the eve of that election, a story is published about the Hunter Biden laptop story that we now know was absolutely grounded in truth from bribes paid from China to remember this one, bribes paid from Burisma, a Ukrainian company whose owner was on the board of the state national security council paying bribes to now the son of the president of the United States that is now making good on that bribe by sending $200 billion of American taxpayer money to defend somebody else's border halfway around the world instead of defending our own border here at home. You were told that we actually had an election in this country and yet, what happened? They did not let you send that story on social media. They shut down the account of the fourth largest paper in circulation in the United States, the New York Post, founded by Alexander Hamilton. That is how you get to January 6th. And so that is the truth, and we're not gonna be able to move forward until we look ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves deep down who we really are as a people. My rule is, if Vladimir Putin were doing it, and we would call it a threat to democracy, it is a threat to democracy when we do it here at home ourselves. That is the truth. And once we acknowledge the truth, then we can have a conversation about actually moving forward in this country.